What? Well, what did he do? He sent me a chat with him, you know? No, I sent you a, 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 an invite to watch my live stream. Oh, oh I didn't see that. Yeah. Hey, you said the broadcast stopped. What? You said, said your broadcast didn't stop. It shouldn't have. No, no, I'm on it. Talking about the uh, the Fallout 4 thing, it shouldn't. Uh, it hasn't even really yeah. started it. Ah, <laughs> oh, this thing is so slow today. I took over the glitch. I killed him out of it because I knew where, where he was. Yeah. And then I found him inside of it and I'm basically killing him and the glitch that he was in. <laughs> oh, okay. Pretty sure he's going past us. Yeah, he went past us. I don't know where we're at. That's when you buy poxies. Yeah, but that's still a uh, proximity mod won't kill somebody that's in passive. He'll eventually get out of it though. Okay. Let's pull the car up. <laughs> okay, I think I've got everything set up I'm ready to go so, yep. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, laughing boy here, and we're, today we're going to be playing Fallout 4. We're going to be playing the vanilla game. We do have some mods enabled, but not very many. Um, I actually went through and disabled most of them. Uh, to kind of give you, well, a little bit of a... I didn't want to get it too far from just the regular game, but uh, it is a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of uh, um, exploration and survival, and you know you can build all kinds of stuff, even with just the vanilla game. And yes, there are cheats that still work for the game, even if you don't have, if you don't want to use the mods. And if you want to have, uh, if you want to keep your trophies enabled, then uh, you can, you can do that and use the cheats. In fact, I have a video, and I should post to put that in the description. Uh, let me see if I can look that up real quick, and I'll, I'll post that in the description. And My name's Jack. <laughs>
Yeah. I gotta go eat. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, the other voice, that's the other voice you you may hear. A uh, fellow YouTuber, a friend of mine, LB Sublime. It's going to take me just a second because my machine is moving really, really slow today. While that's looking that up, I'm going to go and do, do this stuff. computer decides whether or not it's going to whether or not it's going to respond to me pushing buttons uh, we can go ahead and get this get the king kind of uh, underway Oh, this is not what I wanted to do. Yeah, um, here I have uh, Vault 99. That is enabled. Uh, a hidden vault and sanctuary with a few surprises. There you see the picture of it. Uh, please note this is a quick mod and more of a proof of concept in which I tested the creation kit after a day of use. Um, the author is SETI 2010. If I find the vault, then we get to check it out. Uh, the Brotherhood of Steel, no, uh, yeah, the Brotherhood Settlement Guards, Minutemen Settlement Guards, and that's pretty much all I have. Oh, I have legendary modifications for your weapons. Science 5. Uh, let's see, this adds a new rank to the science perk. And well, with that comes a few things here. Anyway, uh, that's not what I intended to do. I intended to go ahead and start the game. Start a new game. Um... Trying to find the. There we are, the glitches that still work on Fallout 4. Or PS4. I will open that video up and I will put that link in the description. I should have done that already. I intended to do that, but I kind of got past me. Oh, I'll let you see this.
Uh, let's see. I think for this, I am going to play her. Well. Oh. Okay, let's just leave it the way it was. Okay. Hmm. I guess yeah, I'll just leave it, leave it like that. There are a lot of options if, as far as um, uh, as far as creating, uh, uh, customizing this character. I can change all kinds of different aspects. I can change her. <laughs> I am not moving. I'm not going to go in and uh, mess with the dimensions of her face <laughs> because. I would make her ugly as in, uh, but you can move things around, change the the color of the skin, you know. Um, let's see if I can. No, not the. Let's change the color. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, you can do a lot of things with with the face. I am just not good at it, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. Ah. This game does have the first person option. You know, the first person view. This part of the game, I, you know, I'm it's uh, with this part of the game you can only walk everything looks all pretty here's a, uh, here's a refrigerator with nuka cola and milk and a couple other things in there It's a backyard. Here's a carport with our car. Vault tech van outside. And that over there is the Vault tech rep. He will be <laughs> over here in just a minute. And here he comes. Now there are a lot of different ways. This game has a, a lot of different uh, options as far as how you play it. You can be a good guy or a bad guy or you know somewhere in between. And I 
I'm just going to go easy on this. This is <laughs> one end result. There's no... There's no real variation on the ends on the end of this conversation. You know, you have to sign up for the vault. <laughs> Otherwise, the rest of the game doesn't. I can't. Uh, All right. Now, of course, normally I've only got a, I only have a few points available, but because this is one of the mods that I, that I have enabled, it gives me um, a total of 70 points, 63 down there, and these. <laughs> so I can raise everything to 10, and that does make a difference. And I have to give her a name. I give her that name. Yeah, that's for a friend. Have a nice day. Now, he calls me, you know, he just called me, you know, <laughs> well, he has a, there is a huge list of names that he will call you by. If you chose, you know, if you choose uh, a name in his huge list, he will, he will call you, call you by your, your first name. And some of them may surprise you. style of this game it's not exactly steampunk because I mean uh, it's more like 50s future vision uh, <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't know how to uh, describe it 
Let's see. Um, let's see, like the van here and this little this little car. Well, actually, all of the cars. Look at that! Isn't that thing cool <laughs> and weird and kind of cute? And does that not look like something that, uh, well, <laughs> from the Jetsons with wheels on it? <laughs> yeah. Yep, he can stop you. see there we are okay now all the glitch now the the glitch the link to the video that has all the working glitches or not well, anyway it has working the working glitches that I know of that are still functioning um, well the link to that video is now in the description Now we'll be demonstrating a couple of uh, a couple of the a couple of the glitches here in a few minutes. <coughs> Another scene where you can't do anything but walk. <laughs> I guess they're not supposed to be following him from in front. <laughs>
four, three, two, one. <laughs> Yo. What's up? Welcome to the live stream. I can't see who's here yet. Just a second. I'm tired. Watch these kids for me. Pray I can't do that. Sorry about that. And I'm still not seeing who's talking to me. Hey! <laughs> hey, girl. How's your day going? The chat is not showing me anything. Watching kids is tiring. Yeah, I bet it is. Okay, it keeps doing that. I don't know why it does that. I want sleep. Nope, can't sleep. Not allowed to sleep. You got to stay here. Uh, you got to watch the kids, and you got to watch my live stream. What? <laughs> Hang on, I've got to change the settings because this thing is not working right. My computer is annoying me. I'm going to have to give you a blue screen real quick and then I'm going to have to uh, I'm going to have to change it to where the the message shows the, the, the thing on the side is going to show I don't like that but I can't hear what's going on I mean, I can't see, it's not telling me, uh, I don't see your comments. Wake up! If I can't sleep, you can't sleep. Your name ain't Jeff. Yep. The other voice that you hear is is my friend Sublime, fellow YouTuber. Um, what's your channel? Tell them it's your channel. LB Sublime twenty four. Okay. I'm squishing bugs. She's really strong too. Squish the bugs. Squish the bugs. Squish the bugs. 
I'm barehanded and stomping on giant roaches. Or, I don't think, I don't think she's barefooted, but she's punching them. She's stomping on them and punching them. And supposed to be in here. At the preserved cigarette pack. I'm not drinking from that sink. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, let's see, there's supposed to be a key in here. <laughs> there's some 10 millimeter rounds. There was supposed to be some key, there's supposed to be a key in here somewhere. On a chair, I think. See it? Oh well. Ah. Supposed to be a key to this. All right. <laughs> I commence not talking. Okay, let me uh, make sure the settings are still the way they're supposed to be. I don't know what's going on. One of the glitches that I'm going to show you uh, uh, when we get out of the vault is going to involve all this red roach meat that I'm hoarding up. Just be what? <laughs> no, you can't go to sleep. You are not allowed to sleep. Well, why not? <laughs> I don't know. It's, but you're not allowed. Uh, she, uh, anyway, nobody's allowed to sleep <laughs> anywhere ever. Well, I'm hoping your mom ain't got a giant gray beard on her face, and I'm pretty sure that, you know. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. <laughs> All right, so we don't have it. Here's our work chart. I'd come in here and look this up earlier today. Somebody had asked me on one of my videos what makes things explode with like uh, coins. 
and that's this one, Fortune Finder at level 4. Uh, Sublime's in the party, yeah. He thinks his name's Jeff, but you know. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Shadow was talking to me in my head. Uh, she said, What's up, my dude? <laughs> what's up? <sighs> yeah. Yep. Shadow is one of my one of the voices in my head today. If you know that giant metal cog would make a horrendous screeching noise. All right, let's go see what kind of a mess we left outside. Or what kind of a mess was left outside. I don't remember what uh, mods I have. Let's see, change, no, I don't want to change anything. Well, let's finish and exit the vault. like it if it stopped doing stop putting me in first person all the time let's see there's skin packing right away right there I can push that button that way we can go back down in there at any time Yeah, any kind, any time you get any kind of adhesive, that is, that is something you really want to keep a hold of. <clears throat> it's important in uh, building. There are some really, really cool mods that you can use. The one that I uh, had active made the made that house there. It redid it and it made it, you know, real. Well, it just made it really nice. It also redid this one over here. Cleans, you know, it cleans them up real well and makes them look, uh, it makes them look, you know, good and solid. But uh, I didn't enable that one. I thought about doing uh, sanctuary clean and clear, which what that one does is it clears everything there's no houses no debris nothing it's just it's just the road <laughs> and some uh, but it does put a little like a little a little platform here with the uh, construction benches and all and uh, it gave it gives you some a lot of you know the supplies of raw material uh, let's see take all of that 
take that up. Take that up. Okay. I'm going to show you one of the uh, one of the the glitches that still works in this game. Now, something I, I should point out. I did a little. Uh, a, no, go away. I did do a little checking. Um, you can you can pick this game up in the vanilla game. You can pick it up used. From uh, well, at least from GameStop for under under thirty dollars. However, if you want to go and buy the uh, the season pass, is a uh, is fifty dollars. If you buy all the DLC individually, of course that will cost you a bit more. And. Um, the deluxe version of this game, you know, digital, the digital deluxe version of this game is like 110 uh, from the PlayStation Store. This is US dollars. But you can play this game with mods for, uh, for less than $30 if you pick it up used. And that, of course, is my, my mark below $30. Um, here I'm going to show you a glitch that makes it where you can make things that you actually can't make. I'm going to go to roast and you see all these darkened in things. These are things that I cannot do for whatever reason I don't have. Um, I don't have the resources necessary. Sometimes it, you know, it'll be because you don't have the, the stats. You don't have something unlocked. But okay. Um, here we have, well, I can make grilled rad roads because I have 14 rad roads uh, meat. Uh, I only need three. But I cannot make death claw steaks because I ain't got a, I don't have any, de any death claw meat. So what I'm going to do is really quickly, uh, while I'm sitting here on this, I'm going to push right on the D-pad and then up. And I'm going to try to time it, try, try to time it correctly. And I did doing this as you can see it's saying make grilled rad roads meat press uh, press x to make it but if you look down below that it is not pointing at grilled rad roads meat it's pointing at death claw steak so i push x and it says up in the left hand top left hand corner death claw steak added and you'll notice that i still have 14 rad roads meat there we go again. Death claw steak added. Now the thing, the thing about this is, not only do I get, uh, do I get to keep the resources that I have, I also get experience for for doing this. This is not a really good <laughs> experience glitch because it's slow. But I can sell those things for a good bit of money once Carla makes it to town and she shouldn't be too far off I've reached level two okay so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna back out one of the first things that I, I take is idiot savant it's a level six in luck. So if you don't use mods to raise your 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 initial points, what I would advise you to do is to go to. Uh, let me go over here. And show you this. What I would advise you to do is raise the luck to six and leave the intelligence at one, because once you get down here. Hmm. Idiot Savant, you're not stupid, just different. Randomly perceive, randomly receive three times the experience points from any action, and the lower your intelligence, the greater the chance. 
And trust me, if you get that going, it's, you know. <laughs> it, it, you will hear it going off, and it will be going off quite often. If you have the material to continually, I mean, to, to craft anything. Okay, so. I'm going to take that. And I'm going to confirm it, and I'm going to back out. It's not going to help me near as much as it would somebody who had an intelligence of one. And I'm going to go over here. <laughs> I'm going to show you another one. Go to the inventory, go to junk. Let's drop out the duct tape. Let's see. No adhesive. For this one, I'm going to go into the build menu. If you'll notice down there, it has uh, X is select, circle is store, and square is scrap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap square and then circle. No, wait a minute, I didn't do that right. I'm going to tap square and then I'm going to tap and hold circle. If I do it right, these two windows pop up and I can scrap the duct tape as long as I hold the circle button down I will scrap the duct tape and get one adhesive and one cloth and then I will actually store the duct tape and there we go So now I gained, I gained three adhesive and three cloth and didn't lose anything. <laughs> anyway, this is Sanctuary Hills the vanilla, uh, in the vanilla game without any, any mods altering the way it looks. bunch of broken down houses there's a vault here somewhere I don't know where it is I'm thinking it's out here in the woods someplace anyway uh, I'm gonna have to set this down for just a moment I shall return really quickly I promise
Okay, I'm back. What are you doing? Playing some music for them. It has, <laughs> has no copyright. Oh, cool. Gotta keep them busy with something. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, no problem. Yeah, see, these houses, most of these things can be scrapped. It gives you good uh, material to build things with. Town is a mess. <laughs> I don't usually play it. Uh, lately, I, I haven't been uh, playing it with it like this. I either play it with the clean and clear mod or with the one that has the uh, the modified structures. I usually like to build my uh, my little structure because you're gonna you're gonna have villagers. You're gonna try to uh, you're gonna want to have uh, this place running as well as you can with as many people in it as you can possibly get that they'll um, actually earn you money if you do it right. You, if you'll look up there also is something else I want to point out. If you look up there in the top right corner it says size and that Bar is about uh, two thirds full. When that bar gets full, you can't build anymore. Well, at least you're not supposed to be able to build anymore. There is a glitch that makes uh, that makes it where you can bypass that. Once you get, uh, you know, you get things, you get the materials to do stuff with. You can start building structures or, you know, if you choose to, you can start building, you start building structures. And this is what I'm going to uh, kind of demonstrate a little bit of right here. Of course you don't have to do any I'm trying to line this up with the with the foundation. It's not necessary. You can just do it, you know, put it however you want it. You know, wherever you want it. Anyway, so that's, I can put that there, and then I can put, um, let's see, let's put, put some walls on this. No, that won't work. So I kind of like these, these things. And then I can put uh, something like this in a corner. <laughs> and I can drop uh, another one of those. And put, go over here to the metal structures. This is just one of the pieces that I like to use. Put that there, and then I can put uh, put 
put a door in it. Now come out here. There we go. And I can put stairs. And you can build this you can build this up into a pretty good sized place if you have the material and you know you can lay down beds and all for your people to to sleep and if you look up there at the top it says people zero food zero water zero power defense beds all of that everything is zero now once people get in here you're going to want to have uh, your beds you, you're going to you're going to want to have as many beds as you have people right now my happiness is 50% that's how happy they are with me and there's nobody here so <laughs> If it's only 50% and I'm the only one here, there's something to, you know. <laughs> anyway, for, um, well, for food, there are different things that you'll, that, that you'll plant in the ground and they'll, they'll generate food. For water, Go to this little thing here it kind of looks every time i see it it makes me think that, that looks like a drum set but anyway go here go to water and you can put little pumps in the ground that'll provide three water per pump or you can put a giant this giant thing here out in the water or a bigger version of it that I can't build. I don't have a um, have a um, unlock it. Here is another little glitch. It's it doesn't really mean anything. There's not any real point in doing this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down just as close as I can. And then I'm going to press and hold the X button and I'm going to pick the whole thing up at one time. set it down there. Now that's the only way you can get you can put one of those out of the water. Now of course it doesn't have any power. The everything it, it the only one that doesn't require power is the uh, the little hand pump. Then it also doesn't require any special placement. Anyway, so what we're going to do here, uh, I'll show you a little bit about the building. I'm actually going to go into the story a little bit. Uh, let me see something. Defenses, I can, these are guard posts. These are like booby traps. And these are defenses, and I am short one circuitry to get a gun up to put in there, put in there so I'm we'll going to have to do it the hard way. As I live and breathe, of course, I don't do either one, but that's good.
Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Carly. I don't know what uh, why the thing is not talking, but I didn't know I didn't even notice that um, it was moving over there. Anyway. Just a little bit. Yeah, he's
<laughs> now <laughs> All right. Come on, get out of there. I get to go. On my first mission. <laughs> One of the mods that I have. Um, that is, of course, obviously not enabled, is one that makes the bridge hold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm after playing seven days to die, I, I want, I just want to, uh, chop, I just want to whack the tires. You know, with my stone axe and hopefully get mini bike tires out of it somehow. And then now we have met Dogmeat. This is, I think, the only one that you don't really have to do anything to. I mean, other than Sanctuary. You don't have to clear anything out to get it or whatever. Usually you have to kill everybody. <laughs> well, let's see. Special, I can... Nope. I don't know what any of that does, so I'm, I'm going to leave it alone. And that's... Oh, 
this is the VATS system. I forgot what it what VATS means. I, I think it actually is not VATS system. I, I believe it's VATS. I believe the uh, S in VATS is system. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna get a little interesting over here. I get to pick up my first set of power armor, which doesn't really do me a lot of good, but yeah. Just basically big clunky extra hit points. stem packs Trying to pick up that last little charge. Kind of perk can I take? I'm going to take Cap Collector. You mastered the art. Now the dual buying and selling prices at vendors are better. I can go that up. Uh, well, when I get to... No, that's not what I want. What's up, Yuki? Ah, local leader as the ruler everyone turns to, you are able to establish supply line between your workshop settlements. That is an awesome thing. And then, uh, two, I can build stores. The supply lines mean anything that I have in one settlement I have access to in the next one or the one after that. As long as they're linked. I'll quit it.
Come on, swing back around here. Get him, dog me, get him. <laughs> yeah, I think that's uh I don't think he had that that's what he had in mind. dropping <laughs> no, yeah. I'm getting lost. I'm old. No, I don't know who, I don't know who you are. <laughs> I don't know why my why my machine is not talking either. The uh, 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 reason I have that on there is because I don't always notice when people are speaking to me, even when it's right there on the edge of the screen. As I'm paying attention to what's going on over here.
Booyah! Let's see. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to. I don't. I kind of thought you were. Okay. Something, um, something I should touch on is the map. So far, this is for that's the vault where I started, that's sanctuary where I the town I was running around in. And there's a little gas station, and here's Concord. This is the map. It's a pretty large map. <laughs> there, and there are loads of things on this map. Uh, there's lots of hidden stuff. I mean, just in the in the vanilla game without the mods, there's there's stuff all over this map. There's lots of things for you to do. Um, you know, you can... The way this game is, is designed, you can come in here and play this game for... Uh, I don't know, for for weeks and not even... And just 
completely ignore the storyline. You can come in here and just go around building villages if you want, if that's what you want to do, or you want to go hunt death claws, go do that. You know, <laughs> you want to try to become rich, you can try to become rich. You can actually become rich. I mean, in bottle caps, but you know. Anyway, so I wanted to make sure that that was, that I did point that out. There is there is a lot to do in just the vanilla game. A lot of area to explore. Lots of things. Uh, um, lots of things to do. You can actually go below the map down here. In fact, right about here is a is a power a set of power armor in a cave. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to. I'm going to try to get get this storyline finished. This woman here. And this dude here are two of the most annoying people in this game. <laughs> one of them, this one, gripes all the time. This one moans all the time. Yeah, in case you guys haven't haven't heard, this week Rockstar has decided I don't want to go out there. Rockstar has decided to give us uh, double money and double RP on all the heists. That does include that does include Pacific Standard. I've already run it a couple of times today, and uh, that's uh, you know you can get out of there with 2.5 million dollars, which is you know quite a lot of change <laughs> okay I didn't want to come out here this is not where it's supposed to be the vanilla gorillas What's wrong with you? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's see hacking. Select a potential password with uh, L. Uh, left stick. Press X to enter it. If you choose, if your chosen password is incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both letter and position, will be displayed on screen. Okay, so, but uh, one, uh, something that it doesn't tell you, it, uh, you'll figure out after trial and error, is uh, anytime you come across brackets in here, like that, it, it does include the greater than, less than symbol, um, any kind, any type of bracket. Okay, click on that, dud remove. Click on that, dud remove. Click on this, dud remove. It will also um, 
some of them will reset your tries and you know you have I have uh, four tries to get this right so what I normally do is I'll normally come uh, come down here and just go back and forth and make sure I got all of these But actually, you know, truthfully, the first thing I do when I'm doing the, when I'm doing this, and I'm in practice. Is, is the first thing I do is I find one of the one word and I try it because uh, sometimes when you're going through there and you're clicking on those things, you'll get a try reset. And I would rather have uh, wasted a try than not. And sometimes you get lucky and the word is the one you're looking for. running through here. Not that I'm not patriotic, but it just gets annoying. Oh, and no, you don't have to wear, you don't have to be in a set of power armor to pick up a minigun. Power armor doesn't add any strength to you, to you at all, unless you make a modification to it. Now, if you'll notice here, my left shoulder, left arm, and right leg are, are red. <coughs> it means this thing is already taking damage. Here I'm going to go to inventory, go to weapons, and I am going to favorite that weapon. I'm going to put it in that block.
Yep, that's that sound that sounds big and scary is big and scary. And my cue to leave. It best an angry death ball. Oh damn. You see that skull by the, the by the death claw, that means it shouldn't be messing with him. He's much higher level than I am. That's why I'm in here. him and I didn't get everything. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> I like how uh, we're, I'm going to sanctuary with them. Okay. Yeah, I like where, how, how I'm going to go with them to my house. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Oh, no, here they are. No. I'm going to go to the map and I'm going to go to Sanctuary Hills I think it's stormy <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah, these things will run out of power and make you move really, really slowly. So what I'm going to do is park this thing. And that's like the cheapest set of power armor you can, you can get. Okay. I'll be back in just a second. I hate to run off again, but I have to.
I'm sorry about that, folks. Oh, my morning bell just went off, but um, this house here, they're going to, no matter what, they're going to wander around banging on it. Um, so what we're going to what we're going to do here is uh, he's going to give me a, he's going to tell me to go talk to the other guy and the other guy is going to give me a bunch of uh, basically it's going to tell me to make this place livable All right, so go find Sturgis wherever he is. Have to be here somewhere. Bring this up, go to um, data, we're going to go to we're going to do talk to Sturgis. Or he ain't here yet. Don't drink the water. You see, even just running through it, I get radiated. How do you know? We ain't seen him yet. Okay. Build sheltered beds. Okay. That is the bell, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this. They don't like beds being on the ground. They want it to be... At least on a, a floor, and these concrete floors will do nicely. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to go in. I'm going to scrap all of this stuff. Yeah. 
All right, so now I'm going to go over here to furniture, and I'm going to go to beds, and I'm just going to scroll over to the sleeping bag. You see, you notice up there I have five people. I have one food, no water, Three beds, four beds, oh well. All right, I have five beds. I have just enough beds to do. I now need um, water, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go to this little thing. That looks like a drum set. And I'm gonna go to water, and I'm gonna put up. One, two, three. All right, so now I have the food, I have the water, I have the beds, and I need, I need the food, but I don't have, all I have is those, and that's not going to be enough. So, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go find some, or bargain for some, to plant. Something that uh, I should note I should note is that uh, when if you build a, a little town and you put you put a bunch of uh, plants out there, a bunch of mute fruit, whatever you put out there, you don't um, necessarily have to assign somebody to them. If, uh, because the first unassigned person comes into town is going to start, uh, start working on the food. Because they're hungry. Alright, so... Now I need to get more food growing. It's still a good idea to make sure, you know, go just to go and sign somebody and make sure that it's getting taken care of. Oh boy, she is, she's one strange cookie. Anyway, don't know where Sturgis is now. Let me look and see if there is anything. Now, as your uh, whatever it is you have back there, as it as time goes by, you'll gain more of whatever in your inventory. I mean, uh, for example, if you. Uh, well, not in, it won't be in your inventory, it'll be in your workshop, but um, 
for example, if you if you have uh, mute fruit and you're you're growing mute fruit, well, uh, some people call it nut fruit, but anyway, if you're, uh, if you're growing it um, to feed your people, your inventory, your uh, workbench will start gaining that you know that fruit. So you can actually build. So you can actually plant more. Anyway, then you're going to want to have defense of at least the number of inhabitants. I don't really know how to. Um, I don't really know a quick way of getting uh, of getting. Uh, open the. I'm gonna open the build menu. I can't. Never mind. Okay. Anyway, I, I was going to try to assign him to the turret over there, but it's not going to. That's not going to work. Anyway, that is all the time I have today. But uh, you know, check out further live streams of this game if you're interested. It, it is a lot of fun. There's a lot to do. If you like. If you like building things, this is definitely a game that you'd be interested in. Um, surviving, exploration, that kind of thing. It is a definitely, it's definitely an interesting and fun game. I cannot tell you, I cannot begin to tell you how many hours I spent playing this game. And I mean, I spent... I spent weeks and weeks and weeks playing this game and not, you know, just going and doing everything, going and building every, <laughs> every possible settlement in the game. And the, I have, there are uh, three endings to the main story. And I have went through and done all three of them. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Laughing boy out. <laughs>